first of all then guys what is happening welcome back to another video hopefully today yeah we can break this down into two videos and give you guys some content because i've been a lazy something 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 oh leave it out yeah um so yeah we've got two things we've got to do to them again so we're going to get it done hopefully we're going to do one first video ends another one is going to be for a video on another day because i want to throw some content out for you guys i've been a lazy Ah, and I feel like I've actually felt really down because I haven't posted videos. Like, who would have thought posting videos to you guys would make me feel so shit when I don't do it? So, what we're gonna do today is we have got a oil change to do, oil filter, oil change, drop the oil, um, and then we've got a thermostat to change, which is thermostat. If you've got a McGann, this is a very common problem. You'll find your car overheat. Um, I've had it a couple of times where it's telling me to switch engine off, engine failure. So yeah, if you hear this now, you might hear it on the start of the next video because I might add this bit in because depending on what whatever I do first. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and let's bloody get it. Right then, so what we're going to do first is uh, obviously when the engine is cold, the oil is thicker. So what you got to do, I'm just going to let the car get up to temper, let the cold, cold idle stop, um, and then I'm going to jack it up. Hopefully the oil's thinner so we can actually drain as much of the oil out as we can. I'm going to get the jack axle stands, jack it up. Uh, obviously most of you that will probably be doing this will have an under try on. Um, because I knew I was doing this and obviously when I did the call overs and that uh, but when I did the decal I took the under tray off um, so I knew I was going to do it so obviously now is the time we're going to do it and then when we've finished up we'll put the uh, under tray back on so yeah uh, let's let the car get up to temp hopefully get my hair cut for the next video or whatever um, and yeah and let's get it Right then, so what we've got, toolbox, missing half the tools, as you do, because I'm not a wanker. Um, this is what you need, so you're going to have to go to Halford to get this. This is an M8 bit. Um, this is the only way you will remove the oil sump bolt. Obviously, Jack, Jacqueline, and Brenda the bar. And then you've got Alan, the actual car. It should be warm enough now. Uh, activated RS mode, that one, and that one at the bottom, which activates that oil temp. So it's not really up to temp, but it is warm. Um, so yeah. Well then, first things first, uh, handbrakes on, we're in gear, um, get the car jacked up, axle stand both sides obviously, don't want to be under a car with no axle stand, because it equals falling on your head, which means probably death, so yeah, I'm sick of this jack as well, SGS, fancy a sponsor, I know you'll fancy it. Obviously, because this has got a sexy ass chassis, um, it lifts the whole car up. So, yeah, the dog legging and all that, you know, these. But yeah, that should be all right. Then, axle stand underneath. Right, that's what we're doing, is we're going to take the oil cap off. Because um, then, obviously, air gets into the engine, which will make the oil come out of the system a lot easier. Um, but yeah, you can do that if uh, you want your dog to be choked. Um, there we go, easy as that off. I don't know if you heard that, yeah, but someone's walking the dog, yeah, and the dog's being like, the dog's like, yo, I want to go. And the woman's like, <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that was the joke to that, if you didn't get it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, 
all caps off, it's just gonna help it dry in a lot easier. You don't have to take the all cap off, but it's just gonna take a lot slower to dry. In. Um, so yeah, let's get the sump and let's crack it off. So then so we've got our new sexy sleek drying tool. I know you can get a different style of uh, dryers, but this one's got like a little, so that it always gonna hit that drop down. Obviously take the cap out and then go in there. And then obviously when I wanna dry it out, put it back in the old uh, oil where it come from. Let me stick it back from the, put the funnel on that straight out into the tub um, and then we've got oil filter removal tool and a sexy pair of gloves so yeah let's get under the car and get the oil out right then, here we go here's the tool let's crack it off right then so there is the bolt we need to do to undo the oil to get the oil out but we've noticed this here as well there is loads and loads of gunk it does look like kind of grease um, and it seems to have like spat its way like pretty much everywhere. I can't even show you, man. It's pretty, hopefully, you can see there, but it seems to have like sprayed it um, a fair bit. So, yeah, I'm a bit concerned on that. It doesn't, the door shaft looks pretty clean to be fair, but it does look thick. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna clean that off and then check it in like a week or so and see if uh, there's any more damage to that. But for now, Let's crack this bad boy off and uh, get it out. Try to work out if I'm, uh... yeah, I'm just doing it up, mate. Just doing it up, I think. I don't actually know. Hang on. They've ratchet to the right, it's left loosening. I'm pushing that way. I was doing it up. No, the ratchet, you know the, f no. You know the little twisty thing on the ratchet? Yeah. Yeah, turn that to the right, that's loosening. Yeah, so that way is loosening. That felt tight, that did some. Yeah, though, it's probably, it's probably been done up over time, isn't it? I'm scared, bro. Just I'm don't put your face underneath. Yeah, man. How much of a threads on this thing? I don't know. Nah, hundred percent. I'm gonna end up. Use the, use the bit and it will in the end of it and use your fingers. You reckon? Yeah. I don't really. I've never really been a fan of doing this oil change shit. You know, it's gonna come out, man. And to be fair, it looks like our thing's gonna go in the road. <laughs> 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 don't let your oil go in the road, folks. Right? Because if it does. Oi, what the, f what the fuck are you playing at? Don't ruin your, your road. Don't do that, because I'll get the tax man on that to come to your house. Right. This is how pros do it, right. Ready? Ready, babe? Oh, no. Wow. I'm actually crying out. Ready? I don't have to leave that fucker in. I fucking thought it was at the end then. I'm scared. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, there we go. Getting on your fingers? Uh, a little bit, but that's what happens when you play with fire, innit? Mate, someone told me this oil goes everywhere, and to be fair with you, it's draining straight in the hole, so I'll take that. I'll take, someone said, nah, don't, it just goes, just splashes everywhere, either because they took the cap off the uh, top. Well, they've got their finger on it, oh, like, you oh, know, oh, you do it with the sink. It's spitting. Look, it is spitting now. Gone. Oh my god. As they say in France, je ne sais quoi. Right then, so uh, the oil is drying in now. Um, I'd probably say there's about a can of monsters worth of oil in there. Like, I literally undone it and it went for about. 20 seconds and then it started like trickling out so there was no way apparently these engines hold 5.4 liters probably there was probably like 0.4 liters in there like honestly uh folks check your oil um this is bad of me i, I guess yeah but i probably checked it like when i bought the car and then maybe a couple of weeks after um so 
yeah check your oil because you could blow your engine up obviously if you're running with no oil so yes um we're gonna let the oil drain out whatever's left of it but well we'll see how much oil is in it because when i pour it into the the tubs that i'm going to use we'll be able to work out how much oil is actually in the engine so uh yeah get ready we're gonna do the oil filter now so uh, see you in a sec Geezer told me this was supposed to be really difficult to get to. Yeah, Geezer also told you oil went everywhere and it didn't. <laughs> nah, numerous people, different people like this. <sighs> it's spinning, but then when I let go, it's going back around to the other way. See what? As soon as I let go, it, nah, it's, it's coming loose now. <laughs> yeah, look. That's no good, is it? Do it around. Well, she can move focus. Oh it's yes, it's going. Yeah. Got it. It's all going to go everywhere now, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Mainly down your arms, so. Why can't I? If you put your head under there, it'll go straight down your arm and out your back. Oh yes, yeah, well I'll do that, and then I'll put this arm <laughs> in the oil. Boy, don't I just put the cap on? Yeah. Let the oil stop. Then put that under there. If there anything drips out, then when that's off and all the oil stop dripping out there, but I zoom really close on my head. Um, when the oil's dripped out off the oil filler, then. Fucking get him a nostril on my tooth or whatever. Um, then put the then put the cap on. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. All right. Yeah, good. Do, do what you want. Your car. Right. So putting this cap on with this uh, used washer, which apparently was putting the washer on. But... Oh, cross ready. Whoa, geezer. <laughs> oh. Or unlike some other YouTubers, don't use an impact wrench to do it up. <laughs> Who did that? A certain someone that loves fiestas. Oh, did that? Yeah, and then they snapped the sump plug in the. Uh... I was thinking about loosening it with it, <laughs> but yeah, nah, I won't do that. Right, so let's move this with the 0.4 liters of oil in it. Get my hand, which I'm going to get oil everywhere. That's a bit <laughs> shit, man. Look at this. Fitment ain't the best. Ready for oil, lad? Oh, I can't. It's not focusing, so don't worry about Touch it. Touch the screen. Oh, I'm oh my screen. god, it's coming out. Oh, oh so we got what? Probably almost 0.5 of a litre now. Why is the wind coming when we start? Oh my <laughs> god, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we should move this sheet up a bit. Oh. Oh. Should, should I keep? Oh my god, the more's coming out. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Should I just literally let it come just out? Just let it all come out. Don't like messy jobs like this. Uh, at least you haven't got it all over the floor. Bum, bum me, you know. Cheers, mate. Love that. Right, it seems to have... Uh, Going everywhere now, lads. Well, it's nice expensive eight litre container to not catch fuck all and use cardboard. <laughs> you on about? Oh my god, it's gone everywhere, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah, always use cardboard, folks. There's your other uh, five litres of oil. It's not five litres there, you knob. Oh man. Wow. Fuck it. Why not be like an Astra and put it on like the side of the wheel? Like? Look like a plaster, just you just gotta rip it off. Go on in. Fuck it. I would rip it off if it weren't fucking stuck in the engine bay. Fucking out. 
Oh, are you having a laugh? Look at that, it's fucking, it's that big and I can't even get it out. Fucking shit. Don't you dare laugh at me. Right. It's fucking, it's coming out there. What the fuck is this? Hang on, my hair will move the thing. Oh my God. How to make a I know which one is look difficult. So we've probably got about three litres of oil coming out cardboard. There. Right, to be fair, I'll save the top. The top ain't got oil on it somehow. Just my hands. Uh, oil's dripping. Um, Undo the sump plug again and see if any more... more yeah, where am I supposed to catch this oil then, mate? <laughs> In your nice 18 pound, 8 litre... What, so it's all oil dripping on the cardboard, yeah? Why wouldn't it be? Because obviously environmental and all that kind of shit. You can't. Oh, go on, like you recycle. Nah, I do recycle actually. Yeah. No, but you can't have it ruining the world and that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because obviously, um, I'm, I'm sorry, but is your car deeper? Let's not get into it. But like, obviously, the I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be putting oil. <laughs> I'm not going to be putting oil. Or in the drain and that you know what I mean because that, that's wrong well, you know it's going on the cardboard so it'll be fine yeah there you go sound um I'm just gonna let this drain now which it looks like it's draining off the subframe at the minute so <laughs> there's a, unless there's a subframe drain bolt <laughs> yeah so uh, subframe drain bolt uh, <laughs> Right then everyone, so after that, absolute mare man. I hate changing all because it's such a messy job, especially doing it on the floor and that. You have to be you have to be tip top and make sure everything's right first time really, because if not, you're gonna get that shit everywhere and trust me it goes everywhere. So basically what we had in the McGann to begin with was probably like one litre's worth of oil. So uh, we're actually gonna top it up with 5.4 and um, we've got official genuine oil which apparently this is straight from Renault so this is the shit that you should use um 5w40 Rentec get it from like Wolverat uh Renault specialists um and then we've actually got a genuine filter um when I did buy the car they give me a little they stamped it to say they'd serviced it but all they did really was uh change the oil and I can tell they've changed the oil because they haven't put a genuine um oil filter because the one they've put on is massive uh, and this one yeah, yeah don't look like to put any oil in it um so yeah uh, there we go nice new uh i think that's a what's that spacer for the finger a washer for the uh sump plug so yeah and uh yeah with uh, every service you seem to get free rain with it as well which can piss off so uh yeah let's uh let's get it on <laughs> Right then, so if you've got like loads of oil on your gloves, obviously if you're professional at this, you shouldn't have much oil, but if you do, do like that. And then you think, fuck, I've got to sit down and that in my new Hayden top. What I'm going to do, what you do is, fold all that. Right then, so. We've got a little cloud above us. It looks like it's going to stop raining, but we have actually fitted a new washer. So any of you out there that thought at the start of the video we weren't going to fit a washer, I was only joking. But to be fair with you, if we didn't have a new washer, I was going to just fit it anyway, because in the past seven years of cars I've had, when I've done oil changes, I've never had any problems with fitting the same washer and that, to be fair. So yeah, let's uh, whack this back up. Going to do it hand tight and uh, Hopefully don't get any snow in the engine block, so yeah, I'll catch you in a sec. Right then, let's whip it up. Hang on, let me get the impact gun out and smash it up, all right? There we go, that's nice and tight. Not too tight, just... Yeah, that'll do. Don't want to do any more, because I wrecked the thing. Uh, and now we've got to put the oil filter on, which is going to be fun. So I'm not too sure if that's going to be much of a difference, but that is a completely different oil for I reckon that could be like starvation of oil. I don't know if anyone reckons the different size of oil filter. Um, yeah, that's why I use OEM stuff so you know whatever you're replacing is exactly what you take off. So I know for a fact that is not, well, that's not OEM, this one is. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub my finger in some oil. 
you're right there. Um, yeah, that's my solid piece, that is, if you're wondering. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to give it a bit of oil just so we know it's not. Some people do pour a bit of oil in it and that, but I think for the way the engine and the oil filters purpose like that, it'll just end up pouring over your face and you'll be having oil for tea. So, yeah, let's uh, get it on. I'm going to spill it all, mate. Did it come out even more, or what? Nah, that's scatty, that is. That's going to go everywhere, that is. Does it come out more, or what? I don't know. I don't think so. Nah. Oh, I don't know, you know, I don't fancy this free hand malarkey, you know. Oh, come on. Why? Wow. got the injectors and all that just chilling there. Forget it there, it's going to go everywhere. Nah, man. Just I don't, don't spill it. I don't fancy this at all. Get the money shot. Money shot. Oh man, this is scary shit. And spilt. Oh. Got the tackles. Man's got the abilities. Right, give me a sec, it's going everywhere. <laughs> sort of falling apart here, isn't it? Nah, mate. We're going to pour the whole five litres in. You need to put the sump plug back on, don't you? Mate, it's look, oh, there's, the a, there's a bolt off the fucking heat shield, look, see it body injector. Just oh, I thought you meant inside the, uh, inside the oil filler. You can't do anything properly, can you? Well, we'll see how this oil filter goes, innit? Oh, stop it, Mr. Chuggington. <laughs> Need a gust of wind. Woo! Nah, man, I'm, I'm gonna just put the top in and sit. Oi! Leave it out, suit. He's only gone and done it. Wow. Five litres of your finest crystal ale. I know you lot were doubting me as well. This Muppet's gonna get it everywhere, but underneath that silly haircut, there is brains. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch, do you know what'll happen? As I come away, the tiniest drop will just go. Get your money's worth, folks. Get your money's worth. That's pretty much what it was like when I, I drained it. That. So the car might go, what, oil? Right then, so what we're doing now is we put five litres of oil in. Apparently, Dan, recovery, you did say 5.4, so I've took your word for that. I've stuck the old five in. Um, so we're going to start it up now, let all the oil move through the motion, so we'll go for the turbo, all that kind of jazz, and then hopefully it'll fill up into the oil filter, because at the minute it's going to just probably sunk to the bottom of the sump. It's going to give it like a minute to start up, get underneath it while it's jacked up, check for any leaks. If there's no leaks, sound, switch it off and then we're going to top it up accordingly with the one litre that we got so hopefully we should have like six 600 mil left over dependent um because obviously there's still going to be oil in there anyway it doesn't drain out oil it all of it oil of it all of it so yeah let's start it up shut your mouth you we go it's gonna knock now is that someone at the door or is it the engine <laughs> Okay. Have we rode uh, Oh yeah. It's still recording now. It's still recording, you're gonna have fun editing this one. <laughs> so what then? Um, we've just drained it all out of that into that and we've roughly got just under four litres so it's not that bad there's still oil in it so obviously yeah, you've got all the cardboard oil as well that's yeah in. yeah so it's probably about four and a bit oil four and a bit litres of oil so yeah. sand right then so we've just checked the dipstick um it does show i don't know how focus is gonna get this but it's just showing just just below maximum um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to leave the... Oh my god, can I get it in the old? Yeah. So what we're going to do um, 
I've got obviously a litre spare because I told it was like 5.4 uh, litres so we're going to put that in the boot um, and then because my road's a bit shit so my drive's like that but my road's like that so it's not the best um, so what we're going to do we'll probably go like next time we go to the shop or something drive to the shop let's have a go to the supermarket because um, it's going to be on flat level parking surface I'll be able to check it and uh, obviously add it accordingly. I don't want to be adding like 4.4 litres because obviously too much oil can actually cause damage to your car. So I'd rather, I know it's got more than minimum. So um, yeah, just want to do that. So we'll leave it like that and then uh, hopefully that's that. We're going to do bubble with the cool thermostat. Thermostat, yeah. So that is it for today's video. Uh, what we're going to do next is the. Uh, Boy, electric bike. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do now is have a crap with the phone. That so if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of madness. See you on the next one. Peace.